But there's another topic that I'm really proud of. Glenn Beck said today that I'm the reason he's leaving television. You're welcome, America. And in Psycho Talk tonight, Glenn Beck is back in the zone for the second time this week. And he wasn't too happy about the first time being in the zone this week. He's attacking me for playing this tape. Why would you get a gun? To prepare for tough times. That's why. I'm going to show you that tape again before the night's over with. Now, we called it Psycho Talk because no one should talk about guns and then point to the President of the United States. Then today, interestingly enough, almost 36 hours later, Beck went after me on his radio show. Did you see what uh, uh, Schultz uh, said about me? This guy is oh. such a piece of trash. He has no idea. Do, do you not know how camera angles work? Ed, do you not know how camera angles work? He said that I'm pointing, you know, I pointed to uh, uh, the president's picture, which was directly behind me when I said, you know, you got Why do you need a gun? Because you need to prepare. The camera angle didn't pick up what I just walked for, from, which was the chalkboard. I was pointing to the chalkboard, but the camera angle made it look like I was pointing to the screen behind me. You believe that? He's blaming it on the camera angle. Can we take another look? I, I mean, I think Beck is the one who doesn't know how camera angles work. Where is that chalkboard, Baxter? I mean, I don't care what Glenn Beck thinks. He was pointing at, it looks like he's pointing at, the President of the United States and encouraging people to get a gun. The inference there is unbelievable. And even if you believe Beck, it took him three days to come up with that lame excuse. And he didn't say anything until I called him out on it. Now he says that I'm trash? Well, Glenn, that's your opinion. But let me give you a fact. You're the garbage that Roger Ailes took out the back door. He doesn't care if his viewers think he's telling them to go buy guns because of President Obama. Glenn Beck is a guy with a history of inflammatory rhetoric. So sure we should believe him. Saying the president has a deep-seated hatred for white people, calling the president a racist, he doesn't give a damn. But now suddenly I'm trash because I called him out on reckless rhetoric? Folks, let me tell you something, full disclosure tonight. I am 248 pounds and I'm kind of a fat guy and we have all these camera angles out here to make me look skinny. Glenn, trying to weasel your way out of this one by blaming it on a camera angle and calling me names is dishonorable psycho talk. And speaking of dishonorable, Glenn Beck doesn't stop there. He says, I'm the reason he's leaving cable. I got something to say about that next. Stay with us. Oh, I'm not done with Beck. You just heard Glenn Beck trash me for calling him out about pointing at President Obama and talking about guns. But now it sounds like the Beckster's blaming me for giving up his television show. He is such pathetic. an unbelievable. There is no, may I say, somebody said to me recently, I said, is there no honor in this industry is there no honor at all and somebody said to me no there's not and you got to get over that no i will not get over that and that is why i am leaving television <laughs> i want everybody to know that i've never worked a day in my life with glenn beck i'm sure the fox employees feel good about that glenn beck giving a lecture on honor is ridiculous but if i had any part of getting beck to leave television i will wear it as a badge of honor for more let's bring in eric bollard senior fellow of media matters uh Honor and Glenn yeah. Beck, do they go together? They don't go together. I mean, uh, him whining about lack of honor. I mean, Glenn Beck has not done an honorable thing in two and a half years on Fox News. We could spend the whole night cataloging all the dishonorable things he's done. Uh, so for him to be whining about this. But by the way, congratulations on driving Glenn Beck off the air. If you, <laughs> if you deserve credit, then here's to you. Well, why didn't he come back and do a segment on his television show explaining right. the angle if I'm so wrong? Right. Uh, he wanted to 
to leave the impression. Look, this is a scripted TV show. He was in front of that screen talking for at least 60 seconds. There was his logo behind him. And then at the last second, when he talks about why do you need guns, suddenly Obama's photo pops up. He turns around and look. And look, this is not... You know, this is not, he's not ad libbing his show. It is scripted, and that is what that is the impression he wanted to leave, and he left it. Now, he says there in that radio ad lib that people have asked him why he's leaving television. Right. He uses me as the crutch, saying right. that there's no honorable people in TV. Right. I've never worked a day in my life with the guy, I've never had any association with him. What is he really saying about Fox? Well, that's a good question. The, the, they are clearly afraid of that relationship. I mean, he is out the door. They are subbing for him almost every chance they get. They, this is a very, uh, not a very friendly divorce that they're having. Uh, but yeah, I think he's talking about sir, the honor. You can read into that. He's talking about some folks at Fox News. Could the case be made that he has failed in cable television because nobody wants to advertise on his show? I mean, he's blacklisted by right. many clients around the country to the tune of some 400 is what I'm told. Now, you know, you got to make a dollar, no yeah. matter how good your ratings are, no matter how many people are watching. Right. So he's failed. Yeah, he's failed in two ways. He's not making the kind of money that he should be for Fox. If he has 2 million viewers or 1.5 million viewers, you should be able to turn those big numbers around and get blue chip advertisers and charge them a premium rate. They can't get the blue chip advertisers, and they're certainly not charging a premium rate. And the other thing, he's lost over a million viewers in the last year. It's hard to get a million viewers in cable. It's really hard to lose a million viewers. Eric Bollard, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much.